Woman is forced to live at hospital after doctors see her ultrasound. Giving birth to multiple babies is inherently risky. For one, the chances of a premature birth are much higher, which can lead to complications for both the children and the mother. With Angie, the situation was even more dangerous. Angie was carrying two placentas, but three babies. This meant that two of her babies were identical twins, while the third had split off from a separate egg cell. Doctors told Angie this type of pregnancy was extremely rare, and it had serious implications. For starters, Angie could go into labor at any time. One or more of her babies had developed more quickly than the others, posing a threat to the premature child. Then, of course, there was the issue of space. The fetus can do a lot of damage on its own. Between umbilical cord complications and excessive movement, babies can cause a mother's inside serious damage. Add two extra fetuses to the mix, and you're looking at potential disaster. This spatial danger was about to catch up to Angie big time. At 27 weeks, Angie was rushed to the hospital for a fluid discrepancy. She recounted the moment to Sharp Healthcare. We saw that the liquid for baby B was too low, and for C was a little high. Doctors wanted Angie admitted to the hospital until the day of birth. Wait right now, right now. Angie asked, knowing her triplets may not be born for many weeks. The doctors warn her and Gino of the shocking complications that could arise from one baby accessing more nutrients than another. The risks were terrifying. The bizarre possibility in the early stages of pregnancy is vanishing twin syndrome, where fetal tissue of one baby is absorbed by another. This would be more likely to affect Angie's twins. The second possibility was more rare, but not off the table. Fight or flight is present in humans well before birth. If a baby isn't getting enough nutrients, it may steal the nutrients of another, resulting in death. This natural occurrence is called siblicide and is far more common in the animal kingdom than in humans. Angie had to make a quick decision. With the support of Gino, Angie would stay in the hospital for the remainder of her pregnancy. That way, any signs of damage could be identified within moments. Even with a wonderful medical staff and loving husband by her side, Angie dreaded the weeks to come. They're taken away from everything that's normal recalled one of Angie's nurses. With so many risks at hand, it was a difficult transition Angie and Gino were willing to make. Luckily, Angie's medical staff had only kind words for her. Angie spends weeks here. That's not easy recounted Angie's doctor. But she does everything to make sure that these three babies do well. That's powerful. For Angie, one thing helped her keep pushing. On a regular basis, Gino brought the two boys to visit their mother at the hospital. Seeing them kept Angie grounded and positive, which was a great benefit to the triplets she was nurturing. As the weeks passed, the decisions Angie made got bigger and bigger. One easy decision was having a C-section. Angie wanted to know her children would be entering the world in the safest way possible. In this case, an emergency C-section might be necessary before her due date. As it so happened, Angie's next decision would come sooner than she thought. At 32 weeks, after spending a little over a month in the hospital, Angie was 4 centimeters dilated. This meant the babies wanted out. As predicted, an emergency C-section was ordered. Angie felt fully prepared. It's time, said Angie, laying in her cot. I have some hard work ahead of me now. The doctors rolled Angie into the operating room and prepared for the C-section. Giving birth to triplets would be no easy feat. Dino stayed close to Angie as the doctors worked. The couple was ready to take on this moment together. After what seemed like hours, the first baby girl was born. Nurses immediately brought her to a separate room. The doctors had to keep going. The second baby appeared, crying with a healthy set of lungs. Nurses swooped in and grabbed her as well. Angie was bursting with joy as Gino took video. There was only one left to go. Angie's third baby girl entered the world as safely as the first two. The entire procedure was a resounding success. And yet, Angie didn't get to see her babies before they were hurried away. Her husband had a sweet solution. Here he said, handing Angie his camera. She watched in tears at the footage of her three daughters being born. The medical staff was busy cleaning the babies and checking their vitals. More than anything, Angie wanted her babies to be healthy. After what seemed like eternity, the doctors finally brought the newborns in to meet their mother. There had been zero complications. Angie and Gino wept as they held their little angels for the first time. Today, the triplets are absolutely adorable. Just look at these cuties. Every choice Angie and Gino made helped bring their beautiful children safely into the world. Their experience has taught other parents to be alert and stayed educated, especially when it comes to multiple births. Of course, even maximum preparedness can't always prevent bad luck.